look, I really don't want to board this Evangelion hate train, okay? I've never in my life experienced a work of art or a movie or anything that's touched me as much as Evangelion has. I mean, it's kind of pathetic to say it's anime. I love Evangelion. It, it, it's a problem. I own the CDs. I'm reading the fucking 800 page uh, fan fiction. I've read the light novels. I've read all of the manga. I've I have all the fucking rebuilds on Blu-ray. I have the platinum collection. But look, I'm here because I care about this series, okay? And now we've created like factioning. It's either you love NGE, you love the rebuilds, or you hate everything. And the rebuilds fucking suck. So, a few years after EOE was made, Hideaki sets out to make the rebuilds. Originally planned to be four movies, all coming out by 2008, the last two movies being a two-parter, he wanted to remake the entire original series, now with a huge budget, lots of action, less... Mystery. Okay. And for a new generation, somebody who's never seen the original series before, it's, you know, a great idea on paper. And I think that's a lot of the reason why people defend these rebuilds so much is because they attach them to the originals. These are not attached to the originals. These are their own product, so... I guess I can't get that mad. So 1.0 comes out, and, um... Okay. I mean, it's just the first five episodes, but it looks good. Looks really good. The music's really good. The original five episodes don't really hold up that well, so... Alright, that's fine. It kind of misses out on some of the cool directing of episodes two and three. It spoils one of the biggest twists in the original series, but again, whatever. So, alright. That's fine. I'm cool with it. Now it's 2009, a year after the it was originally supposed to come out. Uh, 2.22 rolls around and... My god. Look, I mean, Asuka is... You know what, I won't even get mad about it. It's Shigenami now, it's not even the same character. Who cares? It's fine. Mari's there, cause... Um, gotta sell those jars. I don't know. We have, uh, Beast Mode, uh... Okay, Ray is a fucking social butterfly. Everybody loves Shinji. Everybody is so in love with him. Okay. You know, as much as I'd like to hate this movie, it's a lot of fun. If you ignore the writing and you haven't seen the original series, this movie is a blast. The music, killer. The action, killer. So it's, it's the best anime action movie I've ever seen. And, you know, that's really saying something. It ends pretty great, uh, again kind of destroys the lore of all of the original series, destroys the characters, but again, who cares? It really is a fun movie. I'll give him that. Hideaki, I don't know what you're doing, but you make a hell of an action movie. I'm super pumped for the next one. Oh god. What? 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 Is this a fever dream? Where are we? What the fuck? What? Look, I know I said I wouldn't compare this to the original series, but... <sighs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Like, none of this works. At all. None of these characters work. At all. Okay, I was thinking... You know... Two? Good ending. Fucking killer ending. Good on you, man. Um, you know, maybe Mari, that develops. Maybe Asuka, that develops. You know, as it did in the original series. You had more to start with there. But again, this isn't the original series. This is new. And as a new movie, these characters fucking suck. Uh, okay. Let's just, let's take it from the start. Alright, so the movie starts. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool, again. Visuals. Fucking killer. This looks incru- Shinji's back. We're on the ship. He gets- What the fuck? What? Who is that? Do I know her? 
Okay. So he's on the ship. And it's starting up. The Wunder. Starting up. Starting up. It's still. Still going. No? Yeah? Yep, big ass ship. No, yeah. I mean, this is the shortest movie in the series. Okay? This is the shortest movie in the series. In the, in the three movies. This is the shortest one. And this has all the new stuff. And like a ninth of its running time is this. You know, I wonder what that hexagon thing was. You fucking moron, it couldn't be more obvious. Well, they don't say it in the movie, but if you go to the avageeks.org page, you can figure out through some light Google searching that it's Evangelion Mark .04, which is, of course, the collective design of a series of artificial beings possessing the characteristics of both angels and avas. Their purpose appears to be that of autonomous weapons with objectives varying depending on obviously the first one was the mk.04 c nemesis series everybody knows that the mk.04 c also called nemesis series appear in the polar ocean again aaa very cleaner is being outfitted with that logical progression and they're all consistent of course the core blocks of course and their attack is their attack units are pillars of light and four core blocks are holding 32 cores of light live beneath the water surface shield camouflage or the pillars of light for is a feature exhibited by either A or C or C. So now that riveting boat scene's over. So Shinji finds out that Unit 1 isn't is inside the ship. It's inside the ship. That's why he, that's why he can't pilot. Now, now, I was thinking a little bit, okay, uh, a little bit how how that how that would work. Um, so it uses AT fields to thrust, okay. Not how an AT field works, but it's the rebuilds. That's fine, whatever, okay. And Misato is piloting it. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's not, so anybody can pilot, you know what, it's fine, because I mean, she's not moving it around, I know she's not moving it around, um, but she's using the AT fields, um, that's the sole thing, um, so anybody can pilot it, uh, so why did they need him in, in 1.0? 1, 1 why, why did they need him in, in 2.0? Um, I know they tried the dummy plug, did, uh, did they try just putting Gendo in there, maybe? Toji, Kensuke, I don't know, did, is that the only reason? Because everybody else was sick. So anybody can anybody can pilot any unit in this lore. If you're telling me that, then they never needed Shinji. Period. That's it. That's it. I, I don't care about some fucking wiki page. Alright? They don't need him. They don't need him. Oh boy. Oh, oh yes, yes, Asuka, I love Asuka. She's one of my favorite characters in the original series because of how well written she is, um, her ultimate purpose in the story, you know, how everything pans out. Um, yeah, I love her redesign. Love that, love that. Um, you can tell she's mad. Um, you know, she looks mad. And when I think Asuka, I think mad. Um, I think the redesign really captures her love for Lincoln Park. Let's see what she has to say. She didn't just say that. No, she she did she didn't just say that. She didn't just she didn't just say that, did she? Yeah, she said that. She said that. Okay. And and then she punches the glass because of how mad she is. Asuka is so mad. Uh, she's always mad. That's who she is. What a, what a character. 
What crit rating? And then they're gonna they're gonna blow him up. What crit? I love this movie. So, Eva no Jubaku. Okay, okay. Curse of the Eva. What? Okay, 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 okay. Fourteen years have passed. Why not? All right. Fourteen years have passed, and and none of none of the Eva pilots, or at least Ma Mari and Asuka, have not aged. Um. Because you can't put them in a jar if they're twenty-eight. If they're twenty-eight, that's not jar-worthy. You, you must think I'm a degenerate if you if you think I'm gonna put a twenty-eight-year-old anime figure into a jar. I mean, come on. Why is this like my biggest problem is why is this fucking necessary in the movie? Because now I'm assuming that Asuka and Mari and all these other characters have actually developed as people in the last fourteen years. But they haven't. They're the exact same characters. They're just mad. That's all that is. That's all anything is in this movie. There is no need for it to be 14 years. Literally just write in a fucking line that's like, I, after the near third impact, the world got old and aged. That's it. That's all I need. That's all you need. <laughs> that's it that's it just 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 say it's like some fucking i don't know it, it's some weird world thing uh because the impact that's that's all you need to say say i don't know two years have passed two years have passed they can be mad that's fine but 14 years oscar is 28 and she is acting like this these aren't real characters these are not real characters. What is the appeal of this movie then? That's what I propose. Because, and again, I don't want to compare this to the original series a lot, but I'm going to. The original series, they were real fucking characters. That was one of the biggest, the best parts about them. Sure. Is that those felt like real people with real issues going through these things. That's what made it appealing. This isn't, this isn't anything. What the fuck is this? What's the point? Action's kind of cool. I like the action. I like the part when the robot shoots the other robot. Do you know the biggest problem with all this? That really, really just ugh, pushes me past the line that this 28-year-old woman is implied to have a crush on a 14 year old boy she met 14 years ago for like two weeks and that's actually why she's mad a 28 year old girl she's a woman she's a what why you didn't have to make this movie hideaki you can just come over to my place you can watch Gunbuster. Gunbuster's good. Okay. Kind of kind of spiraling down. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is cool. This is cool. Okay, Ray blows up side of the ship. Then go get Shinji. Um Misato says they're going to destroy every Wait. Every last one of Nerve's Avas isn't does she know Unit 2 was made by Nerve? Does she, does, does she know that? Maybe she doesn't know. Okay, so are we supposed to assume that they're all just robots now? Because, I mean, everyone's were, the, were these guys. That was, that was like the thing, you know? I don't know if Hideaki watched the original series. But okay, um, so they're, they're robots? They're robots now that don't need souls, so it's Gundam. Okay. So now he's at nerve. Looks good. Really good. Looks really good. Really good. God. These red fields. The destruction. This all looks so nice. The new costumes. Except for Asuka's design. Everything else looks great. Alright? I'll say that. Good on you. Good on you, uh, whoever drew this. Gold star. So now Shinji and Karu playing the piano together. I'm gonna do it. I dig it. I... I dig it. You know what? It's a nice, it's a nice break. I don't have to listen to anybody talk. That's the worst part of this movie. When everybody, if anybody opens their mouth, it's just 
garbage spewing out. But, you know, no one's talking. No one's talking right now. Music's nice. Um, I like the Yamaha piano. It's signaling a lot of times past that they've uh, grown together. Um, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No. Yep. They're still... Is it actually? Yeah. No. Yeah, they're still playing. They're still playing piano. That's cute. I get, I get the metaphor. I get the metaphor. What the fuck is that? You know, I always thought Hideaki Anno as a director excelled um, in, in visual poetry, visual storytelling, metaphors, symbolism, all within visuals. The original series had so many good shots that paralleled each other to show meaning and show depth inside of them. And, and this is a shot of two horses running together because they're close. Okay. Mm, okay. Real shit's gonna happen here. Okay. You know what? The rest of that, they're just, just playing around. Playing around. Real shit's gonna happen. Real shit. Real shit. Okay. So he finds a shirt. Toji's name is written on it. Okay. He's gonna start asking questions. Where did they go? I wanna know where they went. I wanna know. I wanna know what happened. What is going on here? This is the breaking point in the movie. Okay? Okay. He's walking to Karu. So he just doesn't care. He's not, he's not even gonna ask anything. That means nothing to him. Nothing. That means. Oh, okay. Kyrie's gonna show him something cool now. Okay. Big reveal. Big reveal. It's the big reveal coming. Big reveal. Changes the change the movie. That's the twist. That Shinji did that. That's the twist. No shit. No shit. He did that. Yeah. Even if you hadn't seen the original series, that would be pretty obvious, you know, when he's when he's doing his fucking hand thing. The 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 earth is rising up, oh, a bunch of big big ass circles have That's that's the that's that's the big that's the big reveal. Okay. Okay. You know what? He's sad now. Whatever. He's going to go play a game of shogi with Fuyutsuki. And what? His his mom's Soul is is in the Ava. Apart from that being fucking stupid, look at look at how bad that looked. Okay, so we're, we're still doing the soul thing. I thought we were done with the soul thing. I I thought so. Misato actually shouldn't be able to pilot it. So whose soul is in Unit Eight? Whose soul is in is in Thirteen? We're still doing that. Why? At this point in the trilogy. He could have just not said anything. I would have been fine with it. I don't think Asuka's gonna have her big Mom, you were with me moment. Just move on. Okay. 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 He knows his mom's soul is in Unit 1. This is a turning point. This right here, that's the turning point. I'm calling it. Right now, I'm calling it. That's... Okay, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care. He, um... He's not even gonna talk to Karu about it. I mean, a kiss? Nope. And he's going back out again. Okay. Oh my god, Asuka's here. That's the turning point. That's the turning point. Like, if he if he tells her the whole soul thing, that's gotta be pretty groundbreaking, right? Why wouldn't he join their side? I don't know, whatever. But he's gonna tell her, then it's gonna change. Nope. No. No, of course, of, of course he wouldn't. So then Shinji yells about Spears, and he, he pulls him. He doesn't listen to Karu, because why would he? Why would he? He's his only friend. Why would he listen to him? And then nothing happens. And it stopped again. Music's good, though. Action's pretty cool. That action's good. That action's fucking bomb, I, I guess. More shit happens. More stupid... It turns into a cat. Because she's mad. Because cats 
are mad. Asuka's mad and cats are also mad. You know, it's it's uh, it's a beautiful metaphor. It really is. It really is. Yep. And that's the end of the movie. So that wasn't a fun action movie. You know? Two was. One was. So we wanted some depth, but there's no depth there. There's no characters. There's nothing. What the fuck was he trying to do? You know, what is the moral of this story? Don't... Don't believe in yourself? Uh, don't just listen to what everybody else says? Give up? So this whole movie means nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing happens in this whole fucking movie. Okay? The, it's pointless. This movie is, 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 is just pointless. And it's not like it's going to build to anything. Three plus one is just going to be nothing. It's just going to be this again. Are you seriously telling me that in the eight years he took to make this new one, that he was really considering and really planning this all out? No. He got depressed again. He stopped. He made another movie and he was like, oh, fuck, I have to finish Ava. I get that the point of this movie and the point of all this shit that we don't understand is so we can feel in Shinji's shoes. The audience is Shinji. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But, you know, why does the whole movie have to be fucking exposition then? The entire movie is just useless exposition about shit we don't know. I don't need to know what this stuff is. I don't need to know what these bodies are, what the hell is going on over here. It just looks cool. Whatever. You know, this isn't the original series. Everything's not going to be explained. But you don't have to spend the whole time explaining nothing so we feel like that. This is so poorly written. Like, I don't care if you love these characters and you're, like, so connected to them that you can't, like, ever say anything bad about Ava. This is just terrible, okay? This is awful. And hot take, hot take. The original series wasn't that complicated, okay? A lot of people pretend it was because, you know, all this, all this fucking uh, space hypno talk is used th the whole time, all right? But none of that matters, okay? The original series was really an action drama thriller about loneliness, depression, and so many other themes, and that's what it was. What to pay attention to was always the visual poetry, the visual meanings, everything was was put right in front of your face. And it and you can you can watch the show without understanding any of that or catching any of that, and it's still a terrific experience. But I mean this pretends like it has some symbolism, some depth to it, but it's nothing. It's just flat nothing. You know, the visuals are cool, the music's cool, but why am I here? What's the point of this? And and, and what everybody likes to say, go anywhere, and, and, and if, if more than 10 people watch this video, if you go to my, the fucking comments, I can guarantee you, out of the 10 people I told to watch this video, Everybody else is just going to be comments about how it's actually a genius metaphor for escapism in anime. And yeah, I think you're right. I think that might be what Anno meant to do, but it doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work at all. Because if it's escapism, we're still in a fucking anime. The original series wasn't even close to as fucking weeby and as typical anime as this is. My god. This movie is still fucking escapism. I swear to God. Look, none of these characters are real characters. That's the main thing. These characters are so disconnected from any reality than they have ever been in any of the series. Again, a 28-year-old girl has a crush on a 14-year-old boy. Mari is basically just some epic gamer girl inside of an Ava. She's so integral to the plot that she's literally never outside of it. Misato's mad. All the other characters are just mad. That's all there is to this movie. You know, if these characters had depth, if anything actually happened, then yeah, I could see it. But no. This is shit. This is garbage. These new characters. That's an anime character. That's just an anime character. That's an anime character. That's an anime character. These are all anime characters. And a new 3.0 plus 1.0 preview. They all got plug suits because uh, anime. 
you know what? I think... I think I found it. I think I found the message of this movie. The point of it. You know, in Neon Genesis Evangelion, in the original series, when he was making that, Hideaki Anno was famously really depressed. He was going through some really tough stuff at the time, and, and he's always been uh, really deep in that. And, and he modeled those characters around him and his experiences. And um, you know what? I think he was he was during 3.02. I think the point of this movie is to make us feel like Shinji, us feel like him, you know? Because right now, I just don't see the point. Who cares? Does anyone love me? You know? I'm all alone here. It's Friday night. I just... Who cares? Who cares? What's... Why should I even try? You know? Maybe I should just go lay down. Good job, Hideaki. You created a masterpiece. Thank you.